All right, my darlings, what is going on for Libra? Let's check you out. I just saw the new life card. I've been noticing some cards as I've been shuffling in these readings. I see the shift card, the good fortune card. Let's see what's going on for Libra home. Some of you could be moving. Some of you could be stepping into a new situation that feels like home to you. All right, so this is for mid-August, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Libra. Let's see what wants to come through for you. Oh, this is the card of affluence. Was noticing that. Grounded, another kind of earth energy, pentacle energy. Look at this water. Wow. So Libra. Okay. Oh boy. There's Capricorn. Lots of earth here, earth and water. And I was just going to say to you, Libra, that um, air and fire get along, earth and water get along. This feels to me like you've started to get along with your financial abundance tracking, <laughs> attraction, Okay, and also love attraction, love attraction, not law of attraction, but love attraction. And there's a lot of there's a lot of power between you and another person. This person may make this person is going to make you feel loved. Make you feel wealthy, make you feel it's going to expand your own ability also to love another person and to be abundant. So in other words, you're tapping into this earth and water part of you. Some of you may not have much in the way of earth and water in your chart, or you might, uh, but this feels like a whole new way of living and expressing as opposed to what you have had in the past. OK, that that's a very general statement, but let's see. Let's see what wants to come through here. So I have a feeling that you're about to step into a very abundant period of your life. This is going to have something to do with Aquarius and Capricorn, uh, both ruled by Saturn in the traditional rulerships. Right. Um, it wasn't until the late 1800s uh, that started our. Uh, our kind of bromance with <laughs> Neptune, Pluto, and Uranus until those outer planets were discovered because our telescopes got better, okay? So before that, uh, astrology goes back to like first century BC. So we're talking about the planets that were seen by the naked eye as the rulers of, of the chart. Now, Libra, you're ruled by Venus, Okay, and Venus is in Virgo right now, so that's an Earth energy. So that can be uh, contributing to why there's something about making something real, tangible. I want this to be more real to me. I want to hear, because you're an air sign, I want to hear your feelings. I want to, I want to feel my own feelings. I want to feel more grounded. I want to um, embrace the powerful connection that we're talking about here. More pentacles, eight of pentacles underneath, the seven of cups, the page of pentacles. Wow. Ten of swords and the page of swords coming through here. Here's Venus, Libra. So that's your rulership. So you could be a divine feminine here. And I, I kind of get the feeling of like, what's all this for? What's the purpose of everything I'm doing right now? Um, I'm learning new stuff. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, attracting new opportunities, but like, what's it really for? And this 10 of swords, I'm going to explore this in the reading a little bit more as we go. Um, this can be the end of a cycle that really required that you purged some people or some experiences, keep the wisdom, purge the experience. Like it doesn't, you don't need to drag the baggage with you. Page of swords. And a message of love coming through. I know that's you. Uh, this is Libra and Taurus, another earth sign. So I feel like there's a message coming and it's been very slow in coming. I'm going to clarify that, that Ten of Swords. Okay, let's see where the reading takes us. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. New opportunities for affluence coming in. Four of Swords. The Moon. Queen of Swords, lots of air here. You're right in the middle. You're right in the middle of everything here, Libra. Five of Pentacles. Wow, what is going on here? Three of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Tower. 
All right, I can't let that go. Temperance, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that's cool. That's Jupiter. This is uh, Mars energy. Some kind of powerful connection, powerful physical connection. I feel like there's a person here or there's a situation that has left you feeling out in the cold. You might have manifested a new beginning with the moon. We had a new moon in Leo. All right. That rules fifth house of romance. It's also about fun and joy. Ace of pentacles being offered. So there's a lot of potential here. I really like that. Here you are as the queen of swords and your justice card. Five of pentacles. So there's a couple things to clarify here. Five of pentacles is about loss, is about feeling left out in the cold, is about, um, I'm going to clarify that before I say anything more. Three of wands and the queen of pentacles. So this is coming in. Your, your ship is coming in. This is the affluence. This is the queen of pentacles. So very nurturing energy, very loving, kind, generous energy. Sagittarius energy with Jupiter. So this um, August 19th, we have a full moon in Aquarius. Uh, that is happening at this on the same day that Venus in Virgo, okay, Venus in Virgo is in opposition to Saturn in Pisces. Saturn's retrograde right now. So Saturn in retrograde in Pisces is all about our spiritual um uh, work. Okay. Our spiritual work. So there can be something we have Mercury in retrograde too. So there's something here about it going inward and I, you know, the doing the inner work, four of swords, doing the inner work of abundance, of being grounded, of feeling your own power. Um, there can have been, or there can be some kind of legal thing going on for some of you. That doesn't resonate with all of you but there's some kind of feeling that you're not going to get what you want in terms of a legal, let me clarify that before I remember what I said, like, hold on MJ. What is this five of pentacles about next to the justice card? Seven of swords, four of pentacles, judgment, another legal card and the strength card. So, I feel like there's some secrets being kept from you right now, Libra. Secrets around financial abilities or lack thereof. I don't necessarily feel like this is you. This is somebody that you are in a legal battle with or someone who is going through some kind of legal battle. They're not telling you about what's going on because financially it's not going well. Okay. And, um, I almost feel like you are this abundance, this affluence. That is why I just feel like this person has not been on the same page with you or has not come toward you because you guys are not, um, ah, okay. You're not on the same page in terms of external affluence or wealth or money. This person may have hidden this from you because you are, coming into a lot of affluence and money. They see that as power. They see that as, you know, being grounded, amazing kind of connection here with this person. But you have been there in the past, okay? With this 10 of swords and the page of pentacles, you have been there in the past. So you do know about this. You do know what it feels like to have this sense of not being, I, I get the feeling that this has to do um, it's shown outwardly in terms of financial capability, but really this is an inward battle of being lovable or I, am I valuable? And this is Venus energy. Okay. So Venus and Virgo, am I valuable? We're really experiencing that now. And that, Ooh, that is at odds with Saturn, with the spiritual work uh, that we're undergoing. So there's something here about healing that Libra and I feel like you might have um, a power game going on. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. So the, the, when you were in this place of not being valuable or um, feeling not valuable or something like that, there's a power game going on here. This can be about wills or inheritances 
uh, something like that about like either being cut out of the inheritance or cut out of the will or something like that. I feel like you have a person in your life who's trying to make you feel less than, but I also feel like you have a love partner, potential love partner here that's gone through the same thing. Okay. So you have been through this in the past as a child where you were worked really hard at trying to be, to prove yourself, to be approved of. You were always seeking some kind of approval. It's very Libra energy to focus on the relationship and try to balance things out. But if the other person is trying to make it a power struggle, right? They're, they're trying to grasp for a lot of power. Maybe they've always seen money as equaling power. And in some quarters of this universe. That's very true. That's what people believe. But I feel like you um, you might have a love partner who's had the same problem in their family or in their lifetime. Maybe they're going through a divorce and they're getting stripped of a lot of money. And so it feels like they don't have much to offer or something like that. But I feel like you're just waiting. You're waiting for this shoe to drop tower your weight, you feel it coming. You can feel this coming. Okay. You can feel this coming. I get the sense that this is in Leo time. We are almost out of Leo time right now. Um, Lionsgate energy sticks around until like the 18th or 19th of August. And right at that time, we have that full moon in Aquarius, which you are showing up, which is showing up in your reading. It's almost like, you know, and that's rebellion. So some of you could be rebelling against a family that is trying to control you with money, okay? Or or a love partner is trying to control you with money. Your future, this future person is somebody that sees you for your true value and you see them for their true value. So it's like you're cutting out the situation that's trying to be um, uh, power domination, dominance, that's what Venus in Virgo and Saturn uh, in Pisces is trying to say. It's like, which do you want? Do you want to like continue to try to prove yourself? Venus in Virgo is like, um, show me the facts kind of thing about how lovable you are. But Saturn in Pisces is saying, I'm inherently lovable and I'm doing that work. I'm doing that work. And so if there's some kind of power struggle that's going on here, it's because this is very spiritual. This is Jupiter energy, temperance and the wheel of fortune, both Jupiter. Um, the Saturn energy and the Venus energy are squaring Jupiter. Jupiter is conjunct with Mars right now in Gemini. So this is kind of like walking your talk. And that's the thing, because you believe in generosity. You might have, you may be seen as a little naive, OK, you believe in some kind of generosity, you believe in kindness, you believe in, you know, a sharing and all of that. You're going up against or you have in your life someone who doesn't believe in that, who thinks that's folly, poppycock even. OK, and so this is about so they use that naive. They have this image of you as someone who's naive. And so they try to cast aspersions, meaning they try to undercut your sense of value and worth. And you've been through this before. Okay, you've been through this before. So um, you are becoming this queen of pentacles who is inherently valuable. And that kind of blows this all to hell. That blows this power game all to hell. Um, I am feeling that there's another person in your life or about to come into your life who has dealt with the very same thing. This is mirroring energy. And this is about your worth and value. Let me clarify more of this 10 of swords, because I feel like some of you might have put an end to this in the past. Some of you might be healing from this childhood trauma. Some of you may have had a really hard time with work and not, um, not getting paid what you're, you're worth. Look at that sun, three of cups, nine of swords, and the eight of wands. Um, some of you also have imposter syndrome, syndrome that you feel or, or like fraud. You feel like a fraud. Um, if you are getting paid a lot of money, if you are doing very well, you're shining your light. But then there's this anxiety about will it be taken away from me 
or can I, you know, or this power, whoever this power person is, they've left some kind of indelible mark on you that says anything I create can be taken away from me. That's very Taurus energy. Okay. And Venus, uh, Venus rules you and Taurus. And so there's something here about, um, waiting for the other shoe to drop or feeling that, but this is the thing that's being healed. All right. This is the thing that's being healed. So let's see where you're going with financial. And also let's see where you're going with this. There's two people here. There's one that is like the ghost of the past that is trying to undercut your self-confidence. There could be some kind of legal issue here. Um, and then there's also this person who's also struggling. I feel like the full moon in Aquarius is the real purge. All right. So we'll get into it and see what you don't see coming and look at the next 30 days. All right. Libra. If you want to continue on with me, if this is your reading, there's a link below. I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.